Hi everyone, it's Ben from Trek It, and we're back here in the Eingate Bothy again today. And in today's video, we're going to give you a bit of an inside look into the Salomon Predict Hike Mid Gore-Tex. We've got both the men's and ladies' versions, which we've got in a variety of colours. These are all the colours that we stock. There'll be a link up on the screen somewhere here. Harry's not quite sure where it goes, so he's going to just get me to point on this side, uh, where you'll be able to find out a little bit more about them. But for the course of this video, we'll be concentrating on the men's purple pair, just because I happen to be wearing a pair of them today. Um, and all the features across the across the range, both the men's and women's, will be the same. So I'm going to move these out of the way, and then we can get on with the rest of the video. So the Salomon Predict Hike, I'm going to say that because otherwise the name gets a little bit wordy, uh, is essentially a Gore-Tex mid-cut lightweight boot that's designed for sort of light to mid-use out in the hills and mountains. It's styled and modelled on um, one of Salomon's running shoes, so it follows that a little bit more in terms of fit and end use. So if you're going up onto the really big burly stuff, you will want a proper pair of boots, but if you're after something that's a little bit more comfortable, that's a little bit more cushioned, slightly lighter weight, then this could be the right cup of tea for you. First things first, what's this thing made of? You can broadly split that out into a few different areas, so we'll concentrate on them as a bit of a list as we go through. So we'll start with the uppers, so the outer material on, on these shoes. It's predominantly a, a nylon base, so it's nice and lightweight, and there are big mesh panels throughout it that are then reinforced with extra lamination layers to provide a little bit more protection without adding too much weight to the, to the picture. Um, and then you get a nice ripstop effect on the rear that provides a little bit more support. Moving on to the membrane, uh, which is the, the Gore-Tex in the name. Funnily enough, it's a Gore-Tex membrane. That makes a boot like this waterproof and nice and breathable, so it'll keep your feet dry when you're out in some of our very changeable British conditions. Um, Gore-Tex is a bit the old reliable in this, which means that you should be able to chuck these on, go off on your, your wet weather walk, and come back with some dry feet. Gore-Tex will be a little bit more of a struggle in particularly warm climates and warm conditions. It's worth bearing in mind that your feet will be warmer, they will sweat more, so Gore-Tex has to work a little bit harder for that. It's very much suited to sort of wetter conditions, which are ideal for sort of our autumn as we're going into now, where it's going to be that little bit wetter. Then the um, other things to consider with this, you've then got a, a nice lining on the inside that keeps the Gore-Tex nice and protected and also is more comfortable for your foot. That again is a, is a nice soft nylon, which keeps things nice and protective on the inside and protects that Gore-Tex membrane that's sandwiched between the, the inner and the outer material. Moving on a little bit further, you've then got the midsole, and the midsole on these, you can't really see on the, on the Salomon shoes, just because they've, they've kind of put an all-in-one construction with the midsole and the outsole, with the outsole just bonded onto the bottom, but you get a really soft cushioned foam on these guys, and it also means that they're really high stack height, so they're super comfy. I'm wearing a pair of them right now, and they are quite bouncy, quite soft, so you get a really nice level of cushioning from them from that midsole. You also get that little bit of extra support, and then, as I mentioned, you've then got the outsole, which is on the bottom of this guy. So you get a contour grip sole on him, which is standard for most Salomon footwear. What's slightly different about this guy is it's slightly less aggressive than some of their other footwear, especially if you've seen the likes of their Speed Cross, things like that, where the, the tread is very aggressive, very designed for off-road, wet weather trail running use. The Predicts keep things a little bit tamer on the bottom, just basically so it's a little bit more general purpose. Again, if you're going through the really wet and horrible stuff, you would likely be wearing something a little bit burlier than this. But this, this tread should allow you to get through a little bit of wet and keep you going without too much trouble. The other thing to mention is this outsole, the way that it's been bonded on, you can see there's two different colours here, and then you've got this white section running through the middle. That channel helps the, the midsole and then the outsole conform to the terrain that you're on. So when you're stepping on a rock or something like that, you're a nice hard hard surface, something like that, that's got a rock sticking up out of it, it will conform over the top of it and bend around it and hopefully keep your foot in slightly better shape. It also generally just conforms better to the shape of your foot as you're walking on the terrain, making this a little bit more comfortable. And that's really one of the carryovers from uh, Salomon's sort of running shoe style and running shoe range. They've just introduced a little bit of that into something that's a little bit more mid-cut. You didn't do the, he did the thing, he did, he did the, cool. So what are the features of the Predict Hike? 
Much like the overall construction of this boot, which keeps things on the lighter weight side, Salomon also kept the, the feature list of this boot fairly small, just because of its end use and an ideal intended end goal with it was to keep it a nice lightweight, comfortable mid-cut boot that was ideal for sort of lighter weight duties. So first off, as I've mentioned already, it is a mid-height boot. So you get a little bit more protection than you would if this was in its shoe form. So you get slightly higher waterproofing line with that and also just a little bit more overall ankle protection and stability. It's got a highly cushioned midsole, uh, which has got uh, quite a high stack height on it overall, especially when you get up to some of the, the bigger sizes like I'm in right now, I'm in a size 12. Um, they, are, they are highly cushioned, so you get an overall um, stack height at the rear of 35 and a half uh, millimeters, and then down at the front to 24 and a half. So you get a drop of 11 mil, which puts it in line with with a few running shoes and they definitely do feel a lot more like a running shoe than they do a traditional boot when you're wearing them. And because of that, it also means that you kind of want to move a little bit faster in them because you are angled that little bit further forward and so that forward momentum is quite nice. Um, but otherwise, you get this really funky colorway. I'm quite happy with this color. I really like it, it's a bit of a retro throwback. Not saying that I don't like some of the other colors that I put down earlier, but I think this really is the color, a bit of a retro throwback. Um, you get a hanging loop on the back that's useful for sort of clipping them up when you want to dry them, but also it's nice for being able to put them on with as well if you need that little bit more leverage. Apart from that, the features are really quite light. It's waterproof, it's breathable. You get a, that, that nice contra grip sole on the, on the bottom, so it's still, still plenty grippy. Uh, it will struggle a little bit, as I said before, if you do get into the really wet and horrible stuff, but that's not really where this is designed. This is designed for the sort of terrain where you might otherwise wear a trail running shoe or just a running shoe in general, but you want that little bit of extra support and comfort afforded by something that's a bit more mid-cut. The only last section to mention will be how they fit. And fit of footwear is very subjective. Uh, so I can tell you my personal experiences with the footwear, but your experiences may differ depending on the shape, size, and style of your foot overall. So as I mentioned, I am a size 12, but despite having very large feet, my feet are, are fairly narrow. They're a bit narrower than average, and they're also very low in volume, so they're very thin feet. So these particular shoes fit me fairly well in terms of the width. I'd say they'd fit sort of a fairly average foot. If you've got wide feet, it might be worth looking elsewhere. Uh, if you still want to be in the Salomon ecosystem, Salomon do have some of their mid-cut models, uh, particularly the Cross Ultra 4, they do a wide fit version of them um, and the model is a bit further up the chain, like the Quest will be a little bit wider in the toe box. This particular model is definitely a little bit on the narrower side from them, uh, but if you've got sort of an average width foot then you will fit. It will also take something that's a little bit higher volume than my foot as well. Ideally these I would volume reduce, but then I have to volume reduce pretty much any footwear I've got because my feet are basically spatulas. Um, otherwise it's got sort of a nice, a nice hold in the heel and generally the fit is pretty good. But if you have any concerns over the fit at all, or you just want to give them a go, I would always recommend where possible coming in to see us in the store if you're in any way, shape or form local, booking an appointment for a footwear fit, and we can run through the motions of measuring you up um, and putting a pair on your feet that we think are going to work for you. It might ultimately end up with being a different shoe to this, uh, but that's entirely dependent on how we measure you up, what you're getting up to. Uh, so trying these on in store can make a real difference but just general fit notes from trying them on and having a bit of experience with footwear myself is that I'd say they'd fit an average foot with sort of fairly average volume. If you've got particularly deep feet, so high volume or particularly wide feet, you're potentially going to be looking elsewhere for something a little bit similar to this. Uh, a model that springs to mind would be something like the La Sportiva Ultra Raptor Mid, uh, which comes in a wider fit. Uh, very similar end use to this, but is that a little bit wider and also crucially that a little bit wider in the forefoot. Otherwise, something like this, I think, fits really comfortably and is something that I actually would quite like for the majority of the sort of lighter duty walks that I go on. I normally chuck a pair of trail runners on uh, rather than a pair of boots just because I move a little bit quicker. Um, I like to think I move a little bit quicker. I don't. That's too much like running. Um, but something like this would fit really well in that sort of scenario. Uh, so if something like that is what you fancy, the Predict Hike Mid Gore-Tex, there you go, Harry, got it that time, um, might be the right boot for you. If you'd like to learn more about the Predict Hikes, there'll be a link on screen 
just about now, or if you'd like to look into any of our other footwear content that we've posted on our YouTube, Harry will pop a playlist on the screen now as well. Otherwise, we'd always ask if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep updated on everything Trek It, uh, for everything competitions, inside looks, and any other little bits of Trek It life that we've got going. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.